Hey guys, welcome to a new video where I'm going to share with you how I just finished my newest premium template and also the setup behind it because it is a fantastic way of building your own kind of database with any kind of data that you would like and it's fully powered by AI. So you are going to give AI certain entries, AI is going to categorize them, put them inside of an embedding in this case, it will be inside of UJet. And then once a user is asking a question, it will search through the database, matching the categorization that we use when creating those entries, and then fetching the correct answer. And it's pretty fast too. It's even faster than OpenAI Assistant. And you can build a pretty comprehensive database because I believe UJet allows up to 500 different kinds of embeddings. So that's a pretty good and solid way to set up your own database directly inside of your chatbot. So how does it work? We have two flows. The first one is a search engine creator. So let's go over that part first, right? Not too many flows, but the first one will be to generate an AI reply. And inside of this AI reply, this is going to capture all of the new entry that needs to go inside of the database. So if we are going to take a look at the prompt, and you I will swiftly go over it. You can pause the video if you like to. I'm using my AI Mastery app to build this entire template, but you can also do this with chat completions uh, on the regular UChat platform or any other platform for that matter, right? Because if you follow the exact steps, you should be able to replicate this on any chatbot platform that allows you to either have external requests and do API calls or have an, has a native integration to do a chat completion. I'm using the model GPT-40 mini. It's a cost-effective model and it's really good in capturing these kinds of data. And what I'm basically doing is I'm setting a certain persona, I'm setting a role, right? And then it needs to follow a certain conversational flow where I'm going to ask for the title of the new entry and a description. Once I've captured everything, I'm wanting to return a certain output like a title description and then we can go towards the next step <clears throat> and the next step will be to check whether or not everything is completed if not it will just keep looping around until we have all the information and then we will go towards this step i have a simple javascript function in place to basically capture all of the details that it outputs uh, in any kind of format possible and I'm basically what I'm doing is I'm converting this. If I'm going to test a function, I'm converting this into a proper JSON format where I can map se several different kinds of uh, settings, right? So we have the title, we have the description, and then I'm also saving this as the entire JSON as well. The next step will be to create another chat completion. And inside of this chat completion, we are going to categorize the data entry that we just received, right? Based on the title and description into one of the following topics. And these topics you can change to your own liking, of course, these are just examples, uh, but I just have fin financial, technical and account. Then we have the title is, and then I'm fetching the title that I fetched from the JavaScript and saved as such, and doing the same with the description. When you match the topic, only return a match topic plus the original title separated by a hyphen. Example, if original title is password reset and match topic is account, then you are only to return account and then hyphen password reset. And we're going to save this towards a custom field. And then on the next step, we're going to create the actual embedding, right? So if we're going to say create embedding, from here, we have the embedding title saved. And we also have the embedding description from the JavaScript as well. So this is the new embedding title just formulated inside of uh, the chat completion. And now we are able to also have the text description. This will return the created embedding in a JSON format. And we're basically going to just check the status of it. So if it's okay, we can create a uh, reply with a confirmation message that everything has been set up okay and if the user wants to create a new entry they can do so and we will just loop around but if the status is not okay 
then we have a really simple fallback message for now. You can customize this towards your own liking, but I think this is effective um, as an example, right? To see what you will need to do soon as it fails. So it seems it fails, let's try again. And then it also loops around towards this step. And as you can see, I do not have any new embeddings. I just deleted them before recording this video. So let's actually create a new embedding, right? Um, also checking if all my bot users have been deleted. So let's delete it and let's just go with the clean slate basically. So let's go towards the search engine creator. Let's do a preview and let's see if we can create a successful entry, right? So let's see. First we will get asked a certain question and then from there we can proceed. So would you like to make a new entry? Uh, let's say yes. Then it will ask for the title first, right? So let's say I forgot my password or something. Okay, so let's say forgot uh, password. And then from here, it will ask for a description that needs to go with this specific title. So let's say uh, if you forgot your password, then simply uh, visit our login page and uh, press the forget forgot password link fill in your email and you will receive a uh, secure link to reset your password so now i've given the title and the text now the AI will allow me to confirm whether this is correct or yes or no. You can also change something. And once it's, uh, once it's correct, then I will just proceed. It will then take a few seconds to f basically copy and paste all the data, then create the actual embedding. And then we should get a confirmation message. So let's take a look. There we go. Perfect, I've successfully added a new entry to the database. If you need anything else or want to make more updates, just let me know, I'm here to help. So if we are going to refresh this page, we should now see an ex basically a successful entry, right? And there we have it. Account has been added and this has been added so we can basically search for this specific embedding uh, easier in the next step when we're doing the search query, right? Then we have the forgot password and then we have the description and the embedding has been created. And you can create up to 500, I believe, that is the current limitation inside of uh, UChat, or maybe they already increased that, I'm not really sure. You can check their documentation for that. So the next step would be to basically go and if we're going to take a look, do a search query. So how does this flow look like? If we're going to take a look, also not too many nodes available. And there we go, um, about 16 or 17 nodes, I believe. But if we're going to take a look, first we're going to match the heading topic, right? And inside this chat completion, what we are going to do here is we are going to go with the last text input. We have a little bit of a prompt here and we're asking to match the user's question with one of the topics. Then we're going to request to output that match topic inside of a JSON format. And then on the next step, we're going to extract that. So if we're going to say text test function, we're going to map this match topic. And from there, we're going to save it towards the matched embed topic. The next step will be to get the embeddings using the matched embed topic. And the great thing here is uh, again, this is uh, my own uh, mini app that I created for the membership, Chatbot Marketing Accelerator. You can also call this uh, by API directly, right? By using the UJet API. I made it a little bit more simple where you just fill in your UJet API key and all the API calls are done for you, where you're just going to use uh, the mini app. The great thing about this action is we can fetch a lot of information because uh, we have a certain action, as you can see, get embeddings with sections and what to include. So you can choose between headings and text, which is the default, include the embeddings ID, 
only headings or only text and we are going with only headings because we want to use the match topic right the match embed topic to only fetch the information related towards accounts in this case because it should be related towards accounts and we could have multiple embeddings with different kinds of accounts and then it will only fetch these embeddings the headings uh, of it and that way we can save a lot inside a json field and if you have a lot of embeddings uh, around the 500 maybe more right if ujet allows it then we also allowed for saving of into multiple sections because the limitation in ujet is that you can only save up to 20,000 characters inside of one json field and we basically um, set up a system where you can save up to 10 different kinds of json fields so basically 250,000 characters uh, or 200,000 characters um, but if you only fetch the headings you most likely will never reach that point right um, so we're going to fetch all the headings the next part will be that we are going to create a chat completion we're going to match the correct embedding with the user's question so what we are going to do here to also reduce the token size is first we're going with the fetched headings under the embedding section one right and this allows us to just fetch a small amount of headings and see if the user question can be matched with any of those headings if yes it's going to basically output this json field with the insert match value and if no we're going with a no match if we are going to take a look at the condition if it's a no match right then we're going with section two so we're going to fetch if there are any um, embeddings from section two and we're going to proceed this i set it up to section five again you can basically go all the way up to 10 but most likely you will never uh, use that if you use the get embeddings uh, by headings only right uh, if it matches so if the ai response contains no match is no that means that the reply or a embedding topic has been matched what happens then is we are going to basically fetch that by a javascript so under this javascript you will see that we are just going to fetch the matched heading account and that could be this one right and then from here going to save it towards a heading search under the next step we're just going with a regular get embeddings because now we pinpointed the exact embedding that we want to fetch and now we can now we are able to fetch only that specific embedding and we're going to use the heading for that going to save that towards the json field and then from there create a chat completion to generate a reply so let's test that part out as well let's go back towards um, the chat widget so let's go here and ask a question right um so let's say well we only have one uh, embedding to try so let's ask something about forgot the password uh, let's say um i forgot uh, my password uh, how can i reset this so now uh, what i also did in the meantime that i can explain this search engine search query i set under the automations as a default reply right so under the default reply triggers every single time then it will automatically search the database so let's see if we can find the reply so here we have it no worries if you forgot your password just head over to our login page and click on the forget uh, forgot password link enter your email and you will receive a secure link to reset your password really conversational kind of reply which most likely will even be better than a customer support agent right but you can fetch that directly from the database now if i'm asking something that is not related towards the database for example uh, how to access all uh, your uh, templates uh, this will most likely not be found because under the embeddings right we only have the forgot password embedding at the moment but if it was available then the database search should be able to match that and if we're going to take a look i tried searching for the information on how to access our templates but i couldn't find it 
Would you like me to connect you with our support team for further assistance? And basically what happens here is if we go back towards the flow, no match has been found and then we're going to generate a fallback message which will then be sent towards the user which you just saw right so this is the basically the ai generated and also optimized database which uses the uchat embeddings in this case to be able to set up a really comprehensive database and allows you to quickly search and get an answer, get a reply towards the user within seven up to 10 seconds. And I think that's a really reasonable uh, response rate where you can set up a really good structured database. You don't have to do anything for that. You can use the flow itself or you can also follow the exact same structure here, right? So uh, you can also go with a new embedding. And if you say, okay, I have a new topic on our account, and whoops not there under this section so let's say account and then hyphen let's say uh, forgot username for example and then you can have your text inside that is something that you could also do, do. you don't have to use the flow uh, but the flow also outputs this exact same format and this format for the heading is really important for the uh, ai to search the database correctly right because it searched for this specific keyword first matches that with the user's question fetches all of the account embeddings then the ai will check okay which one of these headings is the uh, contains the correct reply and then formulates uh, the basically the the best result and the best reply possible based on the available information here so I really hope that you like this video explaining on how you can set up your own fully AI powered uh, database and search, search engine, right? And the template will be available for all uh, CMA members. If you want to become a CMA member and get access to this template and all the other premium templates, then the link will also be down in the video description. And if you have any questions, do let me know. For now, have a great day. Take care and talk soon.